All right, guys. Well, this is losers finals here at Madtown Smackdown. Losers finals at Madtown Smackdown Two here in Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, we have S4U Z2G versus Circa Zone Pow Pow going into their fourth set in as many in two tournaments. So they've met in winners and losers both times um, in almost these exact same conditions. Um, so this has been a heck of a rivalry between these guys, and I'm excited to see it continue. Um, so here we go, losers finals. Whenever you guys are ready, I'm ready. So they're going to Battlefield. I like this stage uh, for Sonic. Um, it's the same reason I like it. Dreamland gives them a lot of room to go run around. Platforms to escape to. Um, he's a very mobile character, and uh, he's got a lot of places to go. I like this for. Um, Lucario because um, the Aura Sphere can cover a lot of options, goes through both platforms, uh, goes to the platforms, means that he has to shield. Um, if he doesn't perfect shield it, he eats up quite a bit of it. Um, Lucario has excellent shield damage. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a shield break in this set. Um, now one thing to keep in mind though, um, as we go forward here, is it may seem that Pow Pow has the huge advantage early. Um, and in this rivalry, that's something that we've often seen, um, is Pao Pao going up big um, in percent. But Lucario can even the odds instantly because of that Rage plus Aura that he gains. Um, rage sometimes, you know, not a fair mechanic, but uh, maybe if you didn't stack it with uh, Aura, Lucario would be a little bit more fair. Um, but uh, in that, it's not that case, so uh, we could see a kill as low as 50, per, 50 or 60% here from Xander. Um, so Papa always has to play super carefully. Like He's never really at a point where he can just sort of relax and, and search for the kill. He always has to be defending himself um, against the possible kill uh, option that Xander can throw his way. So... Oh, gets the grab. We're going to see a forward throw. Um, Xander's going to come back. Oh. And uh, that's, that side B has uh, extreme range at this max percent. Um, gets a naked forward smash. No setups or anything into it. And we'll get the kill. Um, Popo needs to get this kill right now, though. Um, he cannot let um, Xander get any more percent. And he does. So good stuff there, evening the odds. Um, so And again, it's going to come down to a, a last stock situation. Um, for I believe the ninth time out of ten matches or ten games that these guys have played um, in, in recent weeks. So um, again, Popo builds damage, builds damage, builds damage, but Xander is able to find the kill a little bit earlier than him because of all that uh, power that he has. Xander retreats a little bit. Ooh, he expects him to let uh, let go of Spin Dash a little bit earlier. Tries to stick with that counter. Something that we've only, I, that personally I've never seen Xander really utilize all that much. Um, he is very uh, counter light, uh, and so uh, had he been able to predict it there, um, might have been good. Um, it's sort of uh, Xander kind of uses it as like a as a as a as a one time um, like sort of. Uh, move and uh, then hopes his opponent like doesn't remember that he has it in his repertoire. Um, as we earlier, um, as I was explaining that, uh, we saw a huge miss punish opportunity there from Pow Pow. Um, Xander floating up above the ledge, very uh, awkwardly, um, but uh, Pow Pow not able to capitalize because of his positioning on the stage. Um, both both players could possibly find a kill here. A command grab from uh, from Z2G would kill on the edge of the stage for sure. Um, yeah, a back air, um, maybe Pop Up can find that. We'll definitely do it as well. Uh, so this is uh, this is anybody's game right now. Oh wow, great great dodges there from Pow Pow. Um, oh yes. <laughs> Xander unfortunately goes down to a barely missed ledge there. Um, uh, we saw we saw a little bit of a pop off there from Pavel because he has to work so hard to get these kills against Xander. Getting an easy one there has got to be a huge load off his mind. So 
game one going to Pow Pow. Um, not for the first time, but we'll see what Xander does to respond here. Um, we are seeing a run back here. I don't know if it's a salty run back, but it's a run back nonetheless. Let's see. Uh, I wonder what Xander saw that would make him feel like this is the right choice. Uh, maybe we'll ask him after the match. Um, right now, this man is focused in on, uh, on making sure that uh, he does not have a repeat of game one. Um, definitely a little bit more mobile, noticing starting off. Um, not sort of content to let Pop control the pace of the match. Um, definitely going on the offensive here as opposed to um, sort of a, a read and react um, as he's been taking in past games. Uh, maybe the, the style changes to throw up Pow Pow a little bit, and so far it's been working. Um, for the first time in uh, that I've seen, really, um, Lucario uh, it was up in percent there for a little while. And that, that's such a strong tool that Sonic has in his repertoire, is his, able, his ability to up B and then down air towards the stage and have no landing leg. Um, I mean, obviously it seems like it was probably designed that way, but um, able to escape and get back into the fray so quickly means that uh, your opponent thinks he possibly may have a moment to breathe, when in fact he doesn't. And this is not a position that uh, Papa really wants to find himself in here, and have, have, have um, more percent than Lucario does, um, especially when it's a relatively high percent, um, because you're going to see things just like that. Um, you know, we, at lower percents, Papa only has a couple of kill options to worry about, but at higher percents, Lucario's whole um, myriad of options is opened up. Um, oh, he tries to hit him with that spring. Um, but does not get it. Uh, Z2G able to recover uh, relatively free um, as command grab, and that'll do it for stock one. Um, we saw this uh, Xan take the first stock in game one as well. Papa was able to get to stock two off immediately, though. Um, let's see if Xander can hold on to it a little bit. Oh, great up tilt there to stop that forward smash. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from Xander. These adjustments are pretty incredible. Um, he's playing this matchup completely differently. Huge damage here from from uh, Z2G's Lucario. Oh, gets him with the forward smash though. That's why they call him Circa Pow. Alright, so this is exactly what uh, Pow Pow needed to have happen though, was to not take as much damage, like taking less than 70%, because he can make that up really, really fast. That's one thing that Sonic is able to do, um, and that that Popo specifically has been able to do against C2G is shore up any percent deficit that, that he's encountered. Um, and we're already only, uh, you know, 11% difference here. Oh, thought we might have saw a repeat of game one there. Gets a grab. He's going to keep him off stage as much as he can. Try and bait him into maybe uh, messing up again. Um, but he's, man, he's getting these, these get up reads really well. Gets him with the up smash. Not going to do it though. Papo in, da in danger again, though. Uh, one command grab will send him off the stage into his death, so something he's going to have to be extremely wary of. Uh, he's caught he's caught um, Sonic out of spin dash quite a few times in this the history between these two players. Good perfect shield there from Pow Pow. Oh, thought we might have saw a command grab there. That was a very, very dangerous spot for him to be in. Ooh, this is Man, I, I, I'm trying to, to give you guys as much action as I can, but uh, these sets have just me on the edge of my seat. Um, they're always so close and always very, very tense. Um, Pow Pow showing, again, extremely good knowledge, um, knowing exactly how far his up air is able to hit. Um, gets uh, Lucario through the stage um, and lets himself recover. He eyes away, doesn't get the read. Oh, doesn't get the command grab though, so he is living. Very dangerous situation for both these players. Sonic back air will do it. Um, just about anything from Lucario will do it. Gets a grab. That's not gonna kill though. Gonna put him in another edge guard situation. Oh, 
or a sphere. Man, both really high percents for these guys. Will it be 1-1 one, one or 2-0? Or oh? It's the best of five sets, so this is going to be huge. This is this is be break point. Good, good tilt there. Tries to drop a spring on him. Oh, dangerous, and he gets the back throw and takes it. 2 Oh, going into game three. I'm going to win by doing that was that was extremely scary. They were they were they were playing with fire there. They they had fire on their controllers. That was extremely dangerous, guys. That was really really incredible. Um, uh, just knowing when to dodge and when to grab and everything like that. So Papa goes up 2-0 for the first time. Papa goes up 2-0 for the first time in these guys. Uh, Xander has taken all three previous sets between these guys in this new season of Wisconsin Smash. So we're going to Final Destination here. Um, I really like this pick uh, from, from Xander here. I'm, because this is the best of five, there are no bans. Um, so that means that he's able to go here. Um, I think that Lucario, um, his aura sphere is going to play a big factor here. Um, he's going to be able to keep the Sonic away from him. Um, also, um, it means that Sonic has no platforms to escape to. Um, he, you know, he, he he's only got uh, you know the one platform to go through um, or to go to. Um, and then because Lucario has uh, when, once he gets Aura going, um, his, the range of his moves is huge. So even if he doesn't have the foot speed to keep up with Sonic, um, his moves have that uh, extended range that is going to be able to keep him in the fight at any distance. So far, though, um, it seems to be uh, just another classic repeat of this guy of these two people's matchups. Pao Pao building more percent early, um, and, and you know Lucario, um, Xander's Lucario, uh, really um, kind of keeping it close, um, just enough so that once he gains ore, he's able to get the early kill. But uh, Pao Pao is now one stock away from finally um, taking a season set um, on Xander. Let's see how he responds. Let's see if he can get this stock off real quick here. Um, man, this is, this is intense, guys. I, I'm, I'm not commentating to the best of my ability because I'm just so excited to see these guys go at it. Good grab from, uh, from Z2G. Oh, great pivot grab there from Pow Pow. Xander not able to do anything to combat it. Oh, misses the grab, but gets the, the jab combo. Um, that, that good frame date on Sonic's uh, jabs uh, really, really helping him out here. Oh, that Aura Sphere, though, is not going to kill, but it's going to put a big damage on Pow Pow and put him in an edgeguard situation that Xander takes full advantage of. So. Um, you know, 63% is uh, is not anything that uh, that Lucario truly needs to worry about. Papa can't kill him for about another 30% um, unless he gets a really, really good charge smash read. Um, and, uh, and until that point, uh, Lucario loves the damage. So all uh, all Xander needs to do is get about 60%, and uh, and then Papa is going to have to think about his strategy um, in going for these kill options. Now that's something that we've actually seen uh, that we saw in winners semis is um, is off that grab is that uh, Papa was not able to react to Xander teching that throw um, was able to there though um, again these guys making adjustments and counter adjustments all the time uh, this is one of the better rivalries in Wisconsin and I'm very pleased to uh, to be able to commentate it uh, a little bit of a, of a impasse there those neither one willing to commit to uh, getting onto the stage or stopping their move. All right, we, uh, we're we back to edge, edge of your seat action here. Either one can get a kill at, uh, at percents here. We've seen Papa reach a little bit with these smashes. Um, and, and by reach, I mean he's, he's throwing them out. Oh, and he gets the down angle forward smash to finally take the set against Z2G. Great work from Papa with the 3-0, making proper adjustments and really doing a just wonderful job. Of, of winning that one. He will now finds himself in winner's 
or excuse me, in grand finals against Muck Life Marshall, um, the number one ranked player in Wisconsin, um, and currently a free agent, Muck Life is our saying. Yes, I would love to have you. I'm sorry, you should have asked me earlier if you wanted help. I wasn't really paying attention. 